Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to be reviewing the AOC GH401 gaming headset. Now, right at the start of this video, I want to be honest with you guys and tell you that I have been sent this headset to review. However, whenever a company reaches out and says, can we send you something, I always say yes, but I will always give an honest review. And I've been using this headset for just over a week and trying to put it through its paces, and so these are my opinions of it. It's also worth saying right at the start, but if you've watched my previous videos, you will know that whilst this is a gaming headset, I am not really a gamer. I do, however, do lots of tasks that require similar kind of things, such as low latency. For example, as you can guess from the guitars behind me, I do record a bit of music in my spare time. And when you're recording a guitar, you want to hear immediately what you're recording. So to summarise these headphones right at the start, they are a Wi-Fi and wired pair of headphones, costing between 60 and 70 pounds. And let's kick off a review by talking about the design. And these headphones have got a design that I really, really like. They've got this really nice black and red combination going on, and the majority of the headphones, as you can see, are black. And then they've got these kind of red accent pieces, which make them look really cool. The headset itself is adjustable for making sure it's nice and comfortable on your head, and it's packed with plenty of padding as well. The side of the headphones also have these visible speakers, and I really like that look. The left hand headphone is where you will find all of the controls, so it's here you will find a volume control, a microphone mute button, an input for connecting these using a wired connection, a USB-C port for charging, a power button and an input for the included microphone. The headphones also come with a small USB Wi-Fi connector. This allows you to connect them using that Wi-Fi connection using something like your computer. And this leads quite nicely to talk about spec. So these headphones support wired connections and Wi-Fi connections using that dongle, but they have no Bluetooth support. That Wi-Fi dongle works with a whole range of devices without needing any extra drivers. That includes PlayStations 4 and 5, the Xbox, the Nintendo Switch, and lots of computers. Now I've been using it with my Mac and it doesn't require any extra drivers for that either, you literally just plug and play. In terms of spec for the headphone themselves, these are unidirectional headphones with a 50mm driver diameter and a frequency range of 100Hz to 10kHz. Now as with all headphones there's tons of kind of in-depth stuff to do with sound and quality and spec that you could go into, but what really matters is how they sound and so I'm not going to go into all of those details. If you do want to see all those details you can look up the full specification. What you do need to know is that these headphones have a really good range on them. And I'll talk more about sound quality later on. When it comes to the Wi-Fi connection, they have a range of up to 20 meters, which is plenty if you need to be quite far away from the source device. And then that wired connection is done by a 3.5 millimeter jack. These headphones do actually come with a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack cable. And this is a really nice high quality braided cable. They also come with a USB-C cable for charging. And then finally for spec, we should talk about battery life. And these have battery life of up to 17 hours on that Wi-Fi connection. Of course, if you're using a wired connection, you don't even need to switch them on. Having used these, I'd say this battery life is about right. So let's get on to the important thing and talk about what they're like to use. So whether you go for a wired connection or the Wi-Fi connection, they are super easy to use and it's pretty much just plug and play. The biggest thing I've noticed with these compared to the other gaming headsets I've reviewed previously, for example the Philips set that was on his channel a few months back, is actually to do with the weight. And this is a slightly strange thing, because if you look up the specification, the Philips ones weigh 375 grams, whereas the AOC ones that I'm reviewing today weigh 345 grams. Now this is actually only a difference of 30 grams, but when you're holding them it feels much more. And I suspect this is to do with how the weight is balanced in the headphones themselves, but it's not only something you notice when you pick them up, but it's something you notice when you're wearing them for longer periods of time. And this makes the AOC ones really comfortable to wear. They've also got plenty of padding around that top headband and also around the ears, which also help to make them really comfortable. But the important question is to say, well, what do they sound like? And what I've tried to do is I've tried to use these for a whole variety of things, from kind of watching videos and editing videos to listen to a whole range of genres of music. And I've been really impressed with the sound quality of these. In using them, I'd say that they've got a really good range and they just make lots of different things sound really good. The best way of describing the sort of sound they offer is that it's almost slightly wide. And that means you can actually pick out different things from different songs quite easily. What I will say is that compared to other ear headphones I've used, they're not quite as bassy, and that's actually something I quite like. 
And so as a whole, I am really happy with the sound quality and also with the volume you can get out of them. Of course, sound quality is a kind of really subjective thing, but for me, whether I've been listening to country or metal or editing a video or recording some music, I've found the quality is great. When it comes to using the Wi-Fi feature, which is something you might want to do when you need to reduce the latency, I have found that this works well as well. Of course, this low latency is something that's important if you're gaming, but it's also important if you're doing things where you need actually really accurate feedback. A really good example of this is if you're recording something and you need to hear what's coming back from your guitar. And of course, that 20 meter range means you don't have to worry about a long cable and you can get really far away at the same time. And then we should also talk about that built-in microphone. And this microphone is something that can be removed, but it is also secured in place when you're using it. That means in order to remove it, you have to give it a slight twist before pulling it. And this microphone quality is also pretty decent. And when I've been testing it and making calls, the person at the other end of the call has said that I'm loud enough and also that I'm really clear. Of course, this is something that's gonna translate when you come to gaming with it as well. The only thing to note is that that microphone cable isn't quite stiff enough to adjust much. That means you're kind of stuck with the position that it hangs in, although you can get very slight wiggle room out of it. So all in all, what's the verdict on this headset from AOC? Now in using this, I'd say that if you are looking for a Wi-Fi headset with really good battery life and a great sound quality, then this is certainly one to look at. It's got a pretty affordable price point, and it's also really comfortable to wear for long periods of time. In addition to that, I personally love the red and black details on it. The main downside, in my opinion, is that it doesn't have any built-in Bluetooth. This seems like a slightly odd thing to have missed out, but if it's just gonna be a headset that you keep on your desk and use for things like gaming or listen to audio while you're working, then actually it's perfectly fine. It just might not be your everyday headset that you take with you out and about with that lack of Bluetooth functionality. All in all, however, this is a great pair of headphones and I am really happy with these. If you've got any questions about them, do stick them below and I'll try and answer those questions because I'm gonna keep using these. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you do want to pick a pair up, I have put a link below. That is an affiliate link on Amazon, so if you purchase using that link, that will help the channel out and help me keep making videos for you guys because this isn't my full-time job. I will see you guys again soon.